Hello, my brothers and sisters. I want to tell you guys about a dream that I just had, okay? I'm shirtless. I don't have a shirt on. And uh, I just got out of bed. So look at my bed. It's a mess, okay? But anyways, I just got out of bed, and I had this dream of Bluetooth, okay? Bluetooth. In this dream, I'm in this cafeteria, and in this cafeteria, they're like, there's a wait, there's a waitress, and she's serving everybody, and she's really quick, and she's serving people, and there's a lot of like young adults in this cafeteria. So I go in, and I'm with this sister, and she has a bike, okay, but she leaves the bike outside. So she goes in, and she's telling me, "Do you get the, do you get the food?" I'm like, "Well, I'm trying." So I walk towards the back of the restaurant slash cafeteria. And I asked the, the person, hey, let me get this, let me get that, let me get that. And then I pay them and I get the food. But as I'm walking towards the back before I ask them for the food, I check people. And people, all of them, they were tattoos. They had tattoos on their, on their faces. They had, one person had a tattoo of a Bluetooth right here on his cheek. And there was another person that had a tattoo on their neck. It was a girl. And there was another guy who had a tattoo on like near his eye right here. He had a tattoo of a Bluetooth over of a Bluetooth symbol. You know the Bluetooth symbol? So it was right here. So when I picked up the food, God tells me, tell him what those Bluetooth means. So I go and tell him that when I come back, there's this guy on the phone and I tell him, Do you have a you have a Bluetooth tattoo on your face? Can I tell you what it means? And he's like no, I'm sorry, I'm busy with my phone. So I'm like, all right, so there's this girl sitting on the same table. And she looks at me, she's like, yeah, I do have a Bluetooth tattoo. So she moves her shirt a little bit, and there, there is. There is a Bluetooth tattoo right on top of her breast, okay? I don't see her breast, but right on the section when, there, when she has her breast, her right breast on top, there's a Bluetooth tattoo, like a tag, okay? But it's actually a tattoo. So I tell her, you want to know what your tattoo means? And she's like, uh, it's something about internet. It has to do with internet. I'm like, no, Th those are actually two ancient runes. And uh, they're ancient runes that when you put them, the two of them, when you put them together, it means shelter. It means cell. It means like housing. Right? So everybody now, everybody in the restaurant, they have my attention. All of them are looking at me like crazy. Everybody. So there's this man, and he's like, yeah. And when you click on it on your phone, you're you, you have an invisible line, and you're connected to the uh, to the outlet. You're connected to the point that you want to get to. And I was like, that is correct, sir. So everybody today, they have an invisible prison chain. They're in shackles. And they need Jesus. Everybody here needs Jesus Christ. Everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. But some of them, they were understanding. And most of these people, they had that tattoo. Here on top of their cheek, on their neck, the girl on top of the section of her breast. And he was like a tag. And he was the Bluetooth symbol. So, I was trying to tell them. And, and it's true. Whenever you click on your phone, the Bluetooth symbol... You're actually connected to a source. It could be music, it could be information, it could be to the internet, it could be to some other source. But there's actually in the in the visible in the invisible world, in the spiritual world, there is a line that's connecting you. The thing is just the thing is just, you know, it's invisible. We cannot see it, but there's actually a line that's connecting you to that other point. And I was telling them that. I was telling them in the spiritual world that you cannot see, in the invisible world. You have a line connecting you to another point, and you are actually trapped. You are linked. And I was telling them, your phones have been given to you to little by little create a prison cell, a shelter. So you guys can be enslaved completely. And I was telling them, you're already enslaved by your sin, but you wanna, you're you going to be more enslaved. They're going to make you complete slaves of the system. And people were looking at me, and some of them were saying... Some of them were telling me, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Some of them were really paying attention. The girl, that, that she was showing me her the Bluetooth tag on top of, uh, below her neck, right there on top of her breast. She was shocked. 
and there was this man over there who was who was coping with the things that I was saying. He was he was nodding, and people were talking to him, and he was so real. And then the the, the dream ended, and I woke up. And I'm here telling you guys, you know, um, I don't believe the Bluetooth mark is like the mark of the bees or whatever, but we have to be prepared for what's coming. We have to be ready. We have to be seeking Jesus. We have to desire God more than our sins. We have to desire God more than wasting our time so that when He comes, we'll be ready to live with Him. We'll be ready to live with Him. So thanks for watching. Take this to the Lord and God bless you guys.